Hello, everybody, and welcome to our newest episode of MiraCast, Wajima Productions' very own podcast, where we tell you everything that you need to know and need to hear about theatre, about drama, about dance, all on this side of the world in Australia, in New Zealand, and everything going on in our neighbourhood. Um, but today, I am George, and I am joined by the one, the only, Shagun Chowdhury. Shagun, hello. Hi, George. How are you? I am fantastic. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited to talk to you because you are someone that we have tried so much <laughs> to um, have a chat to and organize a podcast with. But you are just hands down one of the most busiest people in Mira in, oh. Marjorie, in <laughs> Auckland, probably right now. Um, but Easy. for people for people who might not know who you are, introduce yourself, everybody. Great. Hi everyone, um, this is Shagwin here and uh, people know me by the name of Shah, it's easier to pronounce. I'm the production manager for Mira the Production here in Auckland and um, yeah, it is, uh, as George says, it, it's, it's a very busy, busy, busy role. Um, you don't know what's hitting you, you when. <laughs> <laughs> it's 24-7, uh, but um, I'm really enjoying it and um it's been a wonderful experience and um, yeah, I've met some really, really, really great people. We've got really, really great team here in Auckland, all working hard. And we are at the last leg of a journey, which is six more weeks to go till we hit the theatres on 31st of May, 1st of June and 2nd of June. We're bringing six shows to Auckland. And if any one of you have not bought their tickets yet, please on our um, after our podcast there will be a link below please click on it and get your tickets because the early bird will be ending soon you're absolutely right it's really not too long now until this whole show comes together it feels like we've just been getting ready and getting excited for so long or even actually not even that long at all um, but now the yeah. show is, is is just around the corner and I know that we have early bird ticket sales um, ending pretty soon in the, within the next week um, so you're absolutely right if anyone was wanting to come there is no better time to get those tickets um, but as the production manager you are or some may say like the beating heart of the production and keeping everything on track um but how did you how did you originally find Mira or, or get into the show um so it's a long story um I have known Artie for the last eight years and um I have been hearing about Mira uh, from her time and again in our conversation um and every time she mentioned it um it was pretty much just saying that when the right time comes she will get on to this project and um, and then come 2017, she announced the show like she did to everyone else um, that she's doing Mira. And um, I was um, immensely proud of her uh, for taking that step to fulfill a dream. Uh, and I believe everybody sees a dream, but there are very few people who take that initial step to fulfill it. And I see Aarti one of them. So definitely she motivates me. And um, on 4th of November, uh, on the show day, I was there, uh, as you remember, George, running yes. around with you guys, <laughs> being a part of the Mira Australia team. Um, it was it, it, it was a wonderful experience. I was really, really, really um, amazed and impressed by the way the show happened in Australia. And it was just one of the, the things that I told Arti that if she's ever coming to New Zealand, you know, I'll. Um, I'll be happy to play a small part wherever I can in the terms of helping around, bringing it to New Zealand or anywhere in the world. Um, count me in. I'll help her. And um, when finally she decided that Mira is happening in Auckland, at that time I was in the terms of changing my roles. I was, you know, thinking of changing a job. And I was like, okay, great. So how about, you know, you take off this role of production <laughs> manager and hand it for me because you already, you know, you're going to be in this process of changing. Might as well take this up for the next six, seven months and see how it goes. And I was like, OK, it's a bit hesitant at mm. first. But I think, again, um, she believed in me. And I think, as she always says, universe has, um, you know, a plan of making things happen at the right time. So I, you know, I thank God uh, who's looking up to me here and, you know, giving me this opportunity to be involved in Mira. And um, it, it's been an amazing, um, challenging experience, but it has been amazing. You know, it's, you know, it, it's been amazing. Yeah, that's all I can say. It's, you know, beyond words. <laughs> yeah, I bet. So some might say that 
You are the mastermind behind bringing Mira to Auckland, or at least planting that seed um, of, of, of taking it to, to New Zealand and, and, and wherever goes next. Um, but you're, you're totally right. I, I remember you being there on, on um, in November last year, and it was just such mm. a, an amazing vibe and experience with everybody buzzing around and all the performers doing their different roles. But even this year, we're Easy. seeing a whole new breed of creative professionals come through from Auckland, not just from Australia this time. Um, people from people in the show and um, people who are supporting the show, but also part of the admin team too. But how have you how have you found all of these amazing and passionate people and brought them together in Mira? Um, you know, we we had uh, we've had a lot of people who are you know I've met throughout this journey, and the passion is just amazing. Uh, I must say that um, all the artists that came through the audition process, um, or all the actors, or all the dancers, you know, they they were those people. Who, you know, every time we were doing something or the other, we were planning some ideas on how to market ourselves or how to do some work around Mira in Auckland. All of these people just put their hands up and said, you know, look, I'm I'm keen to help out. This is the ideas I have. Um, so you know, it, it's it's a passion for theatre, passion for a production that is in them already. So I see them, you know, it, it's just so easy to bring all these people together because of the passion that they have for this industry, for the entertainment industry. Um, initially, we had some challenges, you know, um, it, as I said, there's lots and lots of work involved, you know, there's um, no one day is the same, Every, you know, you, you, you know, you're pretty much working 24 seven, there's bookings, organizations, there's auditions, there's, you know, contracts, there's so much of other admin stuff that needs to go around. But, you know, the team has, um, you know, figured out a way to kind of work together and um, work with each other in the most eff effective manner. And I believe that that's the reason why we are here. So I think one key thing that I have felt and I feel and I see is the passion towards the dream. And I think some way or the other people who are involved in this project um, have dreamt of being in a production uh, and also Aarti is one of the biggest reasons I believe that you know with, with her dream and her passion towards Mira you know it's very infectious so people start living their dream within within Mira itself. <laughs> I know that's, that's something that I think that I could probably touch on from the the launch event that we recently had it just felt like there was a, a almost oh, well, over 200 people there all from different walks of life but even they just felt infused with all this overflowing passion and 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 talent that was put on display during that event yes it's almost like wherever Mira goes wherever they touch this passion is just overflowing the cup um but <laughs> you were you were there at the launch event were you not you you were you were driving that and helping stitch that entire uh, weekend together yes yes and tell us a bit about that what was that weekend like Oh, well, that weekend was a very busy weekend, <laughs> but it was an amazing one. It was, um, you know, uh, we had our dress rehearsals and our actors dress rehearsals on the day, a photo shoot. And then obviously um, there was the first time all the characters were dressing up in their characters. Um, and, you know, they all looked amazing. Um, it, it was a busy weekend, but I think, as I said, that the whole team, everyone involved in Mira uh, at in Auckland, you know, they play a huge part in making that launch a success. Um, we've had our admin team being there on time, you know, uh, starting at time, finishing at time, ensuring that the lighting and the music that we want is working in time. So I think, you know, yes, um, you can say I was the driving force, but I think I couldn't have done it without my team. So, you know, all the admin team, we've got Dashna, who's my assistant production manager and um, does a bit of marketing and PR for us. I've got Charu, who is our administrator, who looks after all the emails. And then I've got Karthik and um, Sanjay, who are interns with us from university here, you know, uh, who are bringing that um, young experience to the team, the new ideas um, to the team, um, you know, which helped us making this launch successful. So, and obviously, um, we have a huge, our huge, amazing sponsors here in New Zealand, um, Radio Tarana and Indian News Link, um, who really support us um, and are always there to guide us through it, through it all. So it, 
it was it was a great launch event. I think I was I was amazed. Um, I never expected that turnaround there, but you know when we were there at, uh, at night, it was just quite overwhelming for me. You know, I I I was I had a very quiet night uh, throughout the throughout the launch. I was very quiet because it was really overwhelming to see um, how everybody came and accepted Mira. And again, as you said, that the passion. You know, once they start feeling the passion, you know, people connect to it automatically. It's all about love. It is, and in touching on a lot of those admin team there, I know that those people you mentioned, Shoru, Dashina, etc., those are all people that you know I spend my time and touching with it and talking to, and and you're absolutely right, they are just so dedicated and hardworking and almost passionate is the only word that can come to mind, and this is just the same experience that you get with anyone who's a part of Wild Dreamer, and I think that that was definitely felt on that launch weekend, and because there was there was so many guests that attended and even honored guests right there was a, a couple of vips there on the day yes yes we had our mayor phil goff um he was there and uh, one of our mps from labor party priyanka radha krishnan um and you know um it was just amazing to see that um um, you know, the feedback that we've had from them has been amazing. And, you know, um, I think one of the other reasons that people are, uh, you, you know, the, the people are loving Mira is also because of what recently happened in New Zealand and Christchurch. Um, you know, we saw uh, a very unfortunate event um, that happened in Christchurch. And Mira definitely is bringing that breath of fresh air to New Zealand about diversity and inclusion and acceptance through love. You know, you could be different, but at the end of the day, love is the most important thing. And accepting the people the way they are, you know, we, we, we are bringing that to the stage. And I think that's a huge element. And everybody loved that, that, you know, there were people from all walks of life on that stage, um, you know, uh, from different um, backgrounds, from different ethnicities, from different culture. But when they were on stage together, the only thing that people could feel was love. So I think I, I feel really proud to be able to be associated with something like this at this time where we can connect with people and actually show them that, um, you know, um, more than anything else, um, you know, love, love, love is beyond realms as what um, Mira is all about. I, I agree with the world being the way it is, things just don't seem quite chaotic at the moment and a bit all over the place and and Mira is absolutely you're right that breath of, of fresh air that that unifying cohesion between us all and we recently got to speak to Arti and 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 Rishab and a couple of others of the team members who have just continually reinforced this fact is there's no faces there's no it doesn't matter what background the people are coming from it is just all about the yeah. fact that we are performers we are artists we are people yeah. together as one on this stage and I think that that is something that not only the entire team resonate with but anyone who gets to attend and, and watch Mirror as well. Yes definitely I think um, people are going to love that when they see that on the stage you know I've been through old rehearsals and I've been through a um, few different you know shoots and photo shoots and you know the way um, all our little um, uh, actors and dancers um, right through to um, all our senior actors and dancers, the way they're connecting with each other and helping each other, you know, it's going to be one big treat to the eyes of people who come and watch Mira. I, I bet, I bet. Now, is it the exact same show as last year? Obviously, I know we've asked someone this uh, recently as well, but obviously you are the production manager. You are at the core of Mira. But is it going to be the exact same show as last year? Are we going to be seeing anything different? Um, well, yes, there's going to be lots and lots of different um, things this time. Um, I won't let out all the secrets, <laughs> but um, you will see a lot of difference. We, you know, there has been uh, the story has been improvised. Um, there's um, the 2D, 3D mapping that uh, the projection we had there in Gold Coast. Um, you know, there's additions to that. Uh, we've been well, we've got more depth to it in Auckland now, um, uh, and um, the music's. Uh, you know, we've got a different performances that we have in, you know uh, incorporated here, um, and also I think another uh, another big element that I think that I proudly say is that, and I thank Arti for um, uh, bringing that element in there because I feel that you know that was one of the things that I was quite passionate about that. Um, 
because Mira is talking about love and acceptance and diversity, I um, there was an idea that I said that why why not bring the Maori culture within Mira. And um, and I'm proud to say that we are working on that together at the moment. And one of the performances, one of the musics within Mira will have um, the cultural performance Kapa Haka um, uh, dance that will be uh, incorporated into Mira. So we're working with them. We're working with all the, um, you know, to making sure that the cultural um, acceptance is there, making sure that we're respecting the Maori culture and the Indian culture, and then how can we incorporate to show it all come together on the stage. So that is a one big element that I'm really, really excited about, and I feel that it's going to be amazing. Um, so, yeah, I think that's one of the things that I think people should be, um, will be really proud of, all the um, uh, people in New Zealand and Auckland um, you know, when, when they see this, it's going to be an amazing one. Wow. So it's actually not even a cohesion of just dance and love and theatre and all these other elements, but actually infusing it with that local culture and local origins as, as well and, and bringing that into the show. That's that's amazing. That's something that I can't wait to see either. But I bet everyone else, too. But yes, you mentioned... Yes. You mentioned about 2D, 3D mapping, that that's had a bit of a, 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 a facelift, of a makeover, a, an up, um, upbringing. Um, but for someone who might not know what 2D, 3D mapping is, could you explain it for them? Yeah. So, um, you know how generally when, when you're in the theatre, uh, a lot of um, theatrical productions, they have props that they use to showcase the scenery behind the background images, um, like a garden or um, like a bird flying. You know, they have props um, that go throughout the stage. But what we have, we have a screen projection on the stage, um, which shows the background um, of, of the setting of the scene that is happening. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's quite a technological advanced um, system that um, is coming to New Zealand. Um, and I think we are one of the first to do it at that ASB Waterfront Theatre, which is, again, we're very proud of um, bringing that. And the feedback that we've got from those technicians who are working there is like, mm, they've not seen anything like this before. So, you know, I'm so excited that, you know, that stage is going to have that there. So how it is different from Australia, um, I think in Australia, we had just the background um, uh, 3D projection and um, 2D projection. But in New Zealand, you know, it will be throughout the stage. It will be in more depth throughout the wings. So uh, it's something that I can't explain. You'll have to actually see it to understand it. It's one of those technical things. And, um, you know, I, I, you know I, I've only seen a little clipping of that and I'm like really excited to actually see it on the dance rehearsal, on our um, rehearsal day, which is going to be on 30th of May when we're going to have a full dress rehearsal. So, um, you know, we'll probably have some clippings from that day to share it with our audience um, near to the time. Yeah, because this is great technology for, for not only... Um, well, normally, if there was a change of scene or they wanted to change how the stage looked, the, the curtain would have to come down, uh, scene uh, props would have to move, new ones would have to come in. And, you know, all this takes time of when the story can't be continuing on. But 2D, yeah. 3D mapping, all that has to happen is that projection just changes and suddenly the entire stage is in a completely different world compared to what could have been there previously. And like not only that, but then being able to map that projection around the entire theater so that no matter where you, you are looking, whether it's on the stage, up to the walls, you are getting immersed in that one little moment of, of Mira's life. That's, it feels like it's gonna be even better than what was what was seen last year. And, and I bet I'm gonna absolutely blow the socks off everybody in Auckland who will be attending ASB that day. Um, but is there anything else? Anything else really exciting um, that we're, we're working towards um, that you can give us a little sneak peek to? Uh, well, um, everyone in Australia must have seen that uh, when we did um, uh, Mira there, um, we had uh, a, a statue of Krishna. Um, and this time round, we have um, Paul Menezes, who is going to be our... Um, Krishna. Um, so we have no statue. We have uh, we have our Krishna playing himself is going to be um, be there, and um, the 
body painting and the body artistic, um, the makeup team uh, who's going to be working on this artistic panel um, has done an amazing job. And I'm sure people have seen the posters uh, yeah. on Facebook. So, you know, that's, again, something that people will be really surprised to see on the stage, how this is all going to come out. I mean, we do have lots of other surprise elements in terms of the costumes and music. Um, but, you know, I would let that all be a surprise um, for everyone because I want people to come and see it. Um, <laughs> of you know, course. I, I, if, I, if I say it all, if I say it all, it's not, you know, there'll, there'll be no surprise element. So, um, you know, there's lots lots of new things that's going to be on the stage for for everybody. Um, you know, as I said, that um, if you're there to look at, different forms of dancing if, if that's how you connect with theater you'll see that if it's acting you'll see that if costume and jewelry is something that you um, are uh, interested in you'll see the variety of costumes and jewelry that we've had um, and how, how we've incorporated the contemporary dancers into it and then if there is um, people who are interested in technology just to see how this um, 2d 3d mapping will be on stage you know if they're coming for that that would be a visual treat for them so everyone um, you know if People are there to just see a story. They, they will be able to see this beautiful story, which is showcasing love. Um, so, you know, there's a lot. There's, it's, it's for everybody. It's for everyone and everybody who's entrusted into these things. And um, when they will be at the theatre, you know, I can't wait to hear the feedback. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, I'm, I'm someone who had never really had a great deal of exposure to the arts or, or about theatre as such and, until I, I started with Mira. But watching that show yeah. for the first time last year... It was like something I'd never, never done before. It appealed to me on the, just so many of those different angles, a couple of which you touched on then. Um, it was just such a, a marvel and, and spectacle to take in that me as someone who had never watched a theatre show before was completely in awe and blown away at just the, the scale yeah. and grandeur of, of, of the whole show. But you, you mentioned also a bit about um, Paul Menes, obviously, or Krishna, who will be on stage. I know that last year during a lot of um, the solo scenes or RT scenes or when Miro is on stage, there was that statue off in the corner. But obviously, this is now this year going to be Paul or, or real life Krishna. Um, yeah. And we've been seeing a couple of photos of Paul and the, the teenage Krishna and Sebastian as well. Um, but some of the 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 painting, the, the, obviously they're all in gold because they're a statue and a god, um, but lighted with, with little specks of blue and the, these beautiful patterns painted onto their chest. How, how did, is it, is it you? Is it the makeup team that has more involvement with how that kind of style comes about? Where is that kind of, um, I don't want to say creative control, but um, where does that empowerment come from or, or where does that style originate from? Well, we, um, I think when Artie had come here on the first, um, her photo shoot with Paul that had happened in February, um, you know, Artie had obviously given exactly, you know, she wanted to create um, this different element on the stage in Auckland. And, you know, her, her she and makeup art, our makeup director, Mino um, Reddy, uh, was involved in that conversation and I was there too. So it was just that Artie was trying to give her a vision and then Mino came up with this, this idea that, you know, she's thinking of doing this. So um, I think I would say that the creative idea for that um, came both from Artie and Mio, you know, being together, working on it together, uh, you know, they, they had your ideas in mind. So uh, I would credit that both to, um, to them um, you know, for bringing that to life. Uh, I think uh, Minel is amazing with her work, as we've seen with all the other, uh, at the launch event, you must have seen all our characters dressed, uh, all the looks that she's uh, brought, out, brought in. I think she's done an amazing job. And same, obviously, at the end of the day, it's Artie's vision um, that Minel has brought to life. So I think um, the credit goes to both of them uh, for one of the person to creating it and for the other to make bringing it to life. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I no, I, I I agree. It's a credit to both of them. Um, and yeah. obviously with Artie and Minol and um, collaborating, working together, this is just a consistent trend across Mira. We find that some of the best work and the best um most compelling things come out when there is just this just innate collaboration between people in Wild Dreamer. Um that that feeds into my question of what is it like managing a team? Because obviously you have a, an amazing team of creative professionals in Auckland and we have a, a great crack team of and people here too. Um, but of course, we are split by a couple thousand kilometers worth of sea. Um, so how, what is it like managing that kind of split team or, or having team members in just 
completely different countries um, when it comes to bringing a show like this to life? Um, I mean, it has actually not been that hard, uh, especially with the team in Gold Coast. Uh, you know, I feel that you guys are, um, I, I take you all as my seniors because you have been in this process involved more than I have. So, you know, every time I've connected with anyone in Gold Coast, you know, they, they always have that valuable advice that they've given me or a suggestion that they've given me because they've worked on it before. So I feel um, I'm quite lucky to have that um, uh, that kind of knowledge with me. So even when Helen, when she's here, you know, she makes uh, working so easy, uh, you know, with because she's had an experience, she's done this before, um, you know, she's got all the, she's, you could say she's, um, done those um, she's trialed something 100 times and then come to that one right um uh, you know moment to click that image so you know i think it's it's been amazing because of the experience you all have um it's never been hard communicating um we've got lots of whatsapp groups um that we <laughs> talk to with each other um and here in auckland i think um as well it, it, you know every if all the members all the cast and crew everybody has a day job and then after that, they have Mira in their life. So I think um, uh, the hard work, um, as I said, they put it into it in terms of keeping connected throughout this journey for the last six months has been really great. People have um, many times put uh, everything secondary and put Mira first to be there on the days when they have been needed, um, be it the launch, be it the rehearsals or be it the events that we've held in Auckland. So, you know, it has, I think, as I said, that whatever we are, we have achieved today, it is because of everyone's support. It is because of people's belief in Mira. Um, and, you know, it, it has not been that hard in communication. It has been really great. And I think um, I'm quite lucky, I would say, in that manner. Yeah, I think it's an absolute credit to, to the whole team from both Auckland and yeah. Australia of just being so receptive and accepting to... I guess the kind of situation that we're in with the, the team being split, but also just being willing to almost take on board any kind of challenge, not let anything get in their way of bringing this show to to its rightful glory and into what it, what it, what it should be. Um, I think it is a real great credit to that team. Um, but you touched on a couple of those events as well that we've done this year. Well, obviously, we've had a we've had a bunch so far. We've had our launch event. We've done Eat My Lunch. We've um, done so many different things. Um, but do you have... And we can stretch this back to November last year. Do you have a a highlight or a favorite moment of your mirror journey so far? Um, from from last year or well, from this we can we can go as long as long as you like. Is there just a standout <laughs> moment that just is in your brain that when you think mirror, you go, that was a great time. Um, well, I think fourth of November itself for me was um, that moment of belief in Mira. Um, as I said, that I've been hearing about Mira on and off from RT for all the time that I've known her. But um, seeing her on the stage and seeing what she did on the stage where itself was a huge moment for me. And um, and everybody else who had come to attend, the kind of appreciation everybody had for each other and the kind of love and feedback that we've heard um, since both of remember that we've been hearing from Australia, um, I think that has been again added up to that experience. And I would say our launch event was again another one that, um, as I said, that that was a very overwhelming moment for me. Um, as I said, that, you know, it, it's bringing everyone together, bringing everyone to you know, see what Mira is all about. Um, uh, I have said this uh, at the launch as well, that, you know, I, I I thought that would be a challenge for me, but the way people have accepted it, because everyone is out there looking for love. The challenge was, you know, uh, that's I always believed that, they, you know, it would be challenging to bring everyone onto that stage at the launch event um, for them so that we can showcase um, the trailer of Mira. But um, when, I went there, when we went out there inviting people, um, when we were getting the RSVPs, um, you know, uh, there was always this thing in my mind that I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off the way I've planned it. But when I saw everybody there, 225 people there, um, and the feedback that we had that, you know, uh, the acceptance, people are there looking out for love. So, uh, you know, that's that just made me believe in the project, you know, and the hard work that the whole team and we've put in together to make this happen. So, um, you know, I would definitely say these were the few moments that had really brought that um you know uh, probably the highlights for me and um, again every time I see um 
the whole team working, rehearsals, dancing rehearsals, acting rehearsals, little kids rehearsing. Um, you know, the passion, the drive that they do it with, again, makes me believe that it's, you know, what we're doing is great. What we're doing is going to be an amazing treat for uh, people who are going to come and view us. So they make me believe it every time I see them working hard to achieve their lives or to, you know, act or I've seen people practicing and sharing videos in, um, you know, um, sharing the alliance and saying that, you know, especially Chamkor, when Chamkor comes here and he gives feedback, I've had few people who have said that this is me doing it before and this is me after Chamkor. Tell me how I've done, you know. So you people are committed to it. And I think it's the commitment that keeps me going. Um, you know, it's like, wow, people are enjoying this. People are loving this. And they're going out of the way to making it right. It, it is. It's, yeah. It, it it totally is. And I know that they are some of the best moments. I completely echo those best moments as well, because I know that I do quite a bit of podcast recording at some of the rehearsals here in Gold Coast and just getting to watch the team practice and rehearse. And obviously we have Trump Carl there as well. It's a, a spectacle to behold. Um, and as well as on that 4th of November, too, I know that there were there were a lot of tough times along uh, along a mirror journey and bringing the show to life and a lot of those times it can seem like oh my gosh is this really going to come together as we as we hope as we would like it to um but it, it absolutely was that 4th of November was just an amazing sight to see the entire theater full of passionate people wanting to watch this show it's it makes what we do all worthwhile yes definitely I think it's the people I think it's it's the people and the journey itself you know when you look look back um and the hard work that everyone's putting in you know it just keeps you going uh, um you know you forget about what you want it's just you know uh, they become the purpose they become the reason and the vision you know uh, uh, becomes bigger than anything else it does and for if anybody was wanting to come and watch this vision and see this entire amazing passionate cast on stage where can they get tickets from Right. So um, everyone, um, if they type in Mira Auckland and Google, they'll be able to directly go um, uh, and follow the links. We've got our Wild Dreamer Productions website, which is www.wilddreamerproductions with an S dot com. Um, tickets are available there and or ESB Waterfront run theater website um if they go visit that page as well they should be able to get the links there and as i said the early birds finishing soon so please everyone if you want to see this magic on stage in auckland grab your tickets now before it's too late absolutely get those discounted tickets because they will only be there until i believe the end of this week um, or maybe early next week. Um, but that's right, you can save on uh, normal entry tickets. You can save even more on family tickets if you're wanting to bring the whole family to the show as well. Um, but just head to our website, as Shagun said, wilddreamerproductions.com, or just Google Mira and you'll find us. But Shagun, thank you so much for your time today. I know how hectic it is to get time out of your schedule. So I and everybody who listens to the podcast are very grateful for your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, George. No worries. And to everyone else, we will talk to you soon and we will see you there on the 31st of May at ASB Waterfront Theatre to watch Mira. Thanks, everybody. Bye.